हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम सुदर्शन एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज प्रोटॉन पंप इनिबिटर्स ओके सो व्हाट आर द क्वेश्चंस दैट आर आस्क्ड इन योर एग्जाम्स रिगार्डिंग प्रोटॉन पंप इनिबिटर्स दे विल आस्क यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोटॉन पंप इनिबिटर्स देन दे विल आस्क यू द इनिमरेट देम देन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन एंड देन द ओमेप्राजोल इन डिटेल ओके सो वी विल गो वन बाय वन first of all definition of proton pump inhibitors so these are the most commonly used class of potent acid suppressant drugs next is omeprazole it is a prototype drug of proton pump inhibitors it inhibits the final common step in the gastric acid secretion dose dependent suppression of gastric acid secretion is done by omeprazole or proton pump inhibitors it is powerful inhibitor of gastric acid which can totally abolish the hcl secretion there is no effect on pepsin intrinsic factor and gastric motility next is enumerate proton pump inhibitors so they are very easy to remember omeprazole pantoprazole isomeprazole rabeprazole lansoprazole okay now we will learn that mechanism of action of proton pump inhibitors or omeprazole proton pump that is h plus k plus at page pump <coughs> it is an enzyme it is membrane bound enzyme that plays an important role in the final step of gastric acid secretion so proton pump inhibitor or omeprazole is absorbed in small intestine diffuse into the parietal cell from there it goes to canaliculi of the parietal cell where where there is acidic ph which is required for its act activation so proton pump inhibitors are con converted to sulfenamide which is a which is an active form of ppi or omeprazole then uh, ppi binds covalently with the sh group of proton pumps covalently this is important and it causes irreversible inactivation of proton pump why irreversible because it binds with covalent bond then acid secretion resumes only when new proton pump are synthesized it also inhibits the gastric carbonic anhydrase enzyme next after that we will learn the therapeutic uses or indications of proton pump inhibitors or omeprazole which will be asked in your exam also uh, so trick to remember this therapeutic uses or indications is gap z snap ulcers gap z snap ulcers okay it's easy g for g e r d that is gastroesophageal reflux disease proton pump inhibitors are drug of choice in this case and higher doses are required than that of the peptic ulcer it means in case of uh, the dose which is used in case of peptic ulcer higher than that is used in this case gastroesophageal reflux disease then next is ANP ANP for aspiration pneumonia proton pump inhibitors are used for prophylaxis so in this case this is due to the prolonged anesthesia z for zollinger ellison syndrome so in this uh, what is this this is gastric hypersecretory state due to gastrinoma what is gastrinoma it is a rare tumor secreting gastrin next is high dose of oral pro proton pump inhibitor that is 60 to 120 mg per day is a drug of choice in this case doc means drug of choice and the definitive treatment is surgical re resection of the tumor next is s for stress ulcers in this case prophylactic use of intravenous proton pump inhibitors reduce the incidence of stress ulcers and for nsaid induced ulcers proton pump inhibitors are more effective than uh, h2 blockers and then acute bleeding ulcers that is intravenous proton pump inhibitors are preferred in this case acute bleeding ulcers next is peptic ulcer this is the most important use omeprazole 20 to 40 mg oral daily that is od is used and uh, it is more effective than the h2 blockers 
duodenal ulcers require 2 to 4 weeks to heal and gastric ulcers require 4 to 8 weeks to heal and the last use is h pylori associated ulcer which is not in the uh, which is not included in the trick so how we remember this gap gap gastroesophageal reflux disease aspiration pneumonia z4 gap z z4 zollinger relation syndrome then snap ulcers snap that is stress ulcers and set induced ulcers uh, acute bleeding ulcers and peptic ulcers simple so thank you for watching the video and if you like this video do subscribe to my channel